Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here, coming to you live for another prospecting tip of the day. We share with you fun, free tips for network marketers. And of course, I hope it is a blessing to you, your business, and to your teams. Don't forget, you can click the share button for a chance for a shout. It's great to share on team pages or in the inbox with a friend or tag them below. As you know, the more who know, the greater your team will grow. As we get started, let's go ahead and get acquainted. If you don't mind commenting below who you are and where you're tuning in from, and if it is your first time watching, click a number one in the comments because I would love to warmly welcome you. As you introduce yourself, I will introduce myself. Who am I? Former kindergarten teacher turned network marketing top leader. We've built a team of over 300,000 distributors, done over a billion dollars in sales, and we have one of the strongest personal team of leaders um, industry-wide, which is pretty powerful. I share all of my tips in my best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. You can find it on Amazon. We've got hard copy, audio, or Kindle, or on my website, sarahrobbins.com. I also um, share my CDs, MP3s, and my masterclasses, my webinars on my website as well. So I do hope you enjoy those, and help. I hope they help you to rock your business. As we're ma waiting for more people to get on, let me just ask you guys, happy Monday. Are you having a great week so far? I'm super pumped because it is actually the week that we launch Rock Start, which is super pumped. This is going to be a 21-day challenge for network marketers. You can learn more on my website at sarahrobbins.com. But I'm doing a masterclass on Thursday. It challenges every day. Um, starting in February during weekdays to help you to rock your network marketing business. I've never offered this level of support industry-wide in terms of coaching from me and accountability long-term. But the idea is um, if you've got the right attitude to give you the activity, the accountability that you need to get your business off to a fab start and a fresh start this year. It's great for new people, leaders who want to see how I coach and kind of get behind the scenes. I do recommend that you sign up. We're almost full. Head to Sarah Robbins come now and click on the store and look for rock start with a T that's the program there if you've got a link post it below otherwise I'll post it later but I'm super excited to share today's free training we're going to be talking about going for no and my question is if you've taken the hundred no challenge it's a free challenge um, that I believe will help you to rock your network marketing business. It's one of the favorite challenges that I have for my team. I actually have a tracker. I'll post a link to it in the comments below in just a little bit, so you'll find it once the video is done um, in this video. But instead of telling my uh, my team, hey, you know, go ahead and recruit too without the activity, it gives them activity goals to help them to get to the end result. Um, it would be a real, really great thing to implement, let's say for the month of February, the shortest month, but you could put forth your highest amount of activity and make your shortest month your best month yet. And it is a great way to get off to a rock and start with your team. So going for 100 no's as you do your reach outs. So you may be thinking like, why? What is the... Um, psychology behind it, how exactly does it work. I want to share that with you guys today. Um, so get your pen and paper, and I'm going to give you some really great free resources at the end of this training too. I think too often um, I see leaders make the mistake of giving um, you know, a challenge of end results versus activity. So as I mentioned before, you know, hey, everybody who, re who recruits to gets entered to win this, right? And that's good, and those are good for you know, prizes and incentives and things like that. But we can't forget to really coach and to put in perspective that how do you get to the end result? It's with activity. Activity is the cure to what ails you in your business, right? So for example, I can't say to my team, go out and recruit too without them knowing how to get there. Let's take weight loss, for example. You know, could you imagine if I was a coach for weight loss and I said, okay, everybody, your goal this month is to lose five pounds. You would sit there and be going like, how? I don't even know where to start. I've got to talk to you about daily activity that it takes to get to the end result that month of recruiting or, or of, of losing five pounds, right? Or recruiting too. So what is the daily activity? How much water? You know, what about nutrition? Um, what about activity? What is it going to take to get to that end result? The same is true in your business. How many contacts will you have to make? And better yet, why? Um, you know, how many contacts will it take? But better yet, 
how many no's will you get along the path as well? You know, it's activity, again, that leads to results. So why no? Why don't I just say, okay, go ahead and, you know, reach out to 100 people? I believe it's important because it's inevitable. In this business, you face rejection, that you help people to reframe the no. You help people to reframe the no. So that's why I encourage my team to get 100 no's in a given month. Because what does it do? It reframes the no, which I'll talk about in a moment. It helps you to track results and really look at your business scientifically. You know, how many no's do I need to get to get to those two yeses. If I told you to recruit two in a month, how many no's will it take on average to get to a yes? It changes the emotion behind the no when we know it's expected, it's a path, it's part of the journey. And it also gets you closer to a yes as well. I'm gonna share with you a really cool analogy that I do when I go out and I do trainings and keynote speaker speaking for other teams and, and companies that they'll hire me to do. Um, oftentimes I'll go into a room and I will give this analogy. I'll say, hey guys, I've got a job and it's teaching kindergarten and first grade and it starts tomorrow. And I say, knowing all of those things is you're going to get paid, you know, as well as an average teacher in this area, how many of you would take the job? Noting, knowing that it's teaching, it's lower elementary and, um, you're going to start right away. Now keep in mind, I'm a former teacher, so that's why you can use any profession. If you're a realtor, you can say the same thing. Okay. And interestingly enough, typically in rooms of about 200 people, about three or four people, I've done this so many times, guys, three or four people raise their hand. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of put my hand on my hip and I'm like, well, what the heck? What's wrong with the rest of you? Do you guys um, devalue teaching? And they're like, no, like we like, you know, kiss the ground that teachers walk on. I'm like, do you think teaching's dumb? They're like, no. I'm like, do you think I'm dumb? And then I joke and I'm like, don't answer that, right? And I'm like, you see, it's not personal rejection. It is personal preference. But then I take it a step further and I'll say, I want you to think about this as it relates to network marketing in a room full of 200. So I give people a challenge. Reach out to 200 and see how many no's. Don't stop until you get at least 100 no's, right? So in a room of 200, would you, if this was, again, for network marketing, and you knew that you could find three or four legs or leaders in this room of 200, how many of you would be willing to hear no, 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 no. And I go all the way through the room until I get to the yes, 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 the people who raise their hands, right? Would you continue to dig if I told you that you had four gold bricks in your backyard? But you knew all she had to do was dig until you find them, provided that the bricks are worth more than digging up your backyard. You would, right, if you knew that the results would come with the activity, with the action. So again, it helps people to go from personal rejection to understanding it as really being personal preference. You're like a waiter or waitress pouring a cup of coffee. Some say yes, some say no. If they say no, what does a waitress do? She doesn't stop pouring and start crying. She keeps pouring a cup to every other patron in the area knowing she's gonna eventually find somebody who wants a cup of whatever it is that she is offering. So would you be willing to go through the no's to get to the yes? You know, I believe if you do this challenge with your team, it will create the most massive activity, momentum, accountability. If they see how many no's it takes to get to the yes, it's gonna reframe that negative energy behind the no and they're gonna look at it just for what it is. It's stats, it's results. You know, it's inevitable. I'm going to get the no's, but it leads to the yes. How many is going to take? So next month when I set the goal to recruit two, I will know how many no's do I have to get as I make my list, as I do my launch events to get to the yes. When they start tracking these results, and if you did short-term massive action starting now or throughout the month of February, you would take your shortest month. If, if you challenge everybody on your team to do this, and you would have your greatest month yet. If you don't have a team, you do it yourself. Take your shortest month you would have the greatest month yet. Here's what I wanna challenge you guys to do. Are you guys willing to take the challenge with me? I'm gonna do this in the month of February as well, to do a challenge of 100 no's and see what type of um, results that you get in your business. If you're willing to take the challenge, go ahead and comment below, it's free. I'm gonna post a link, you can do it on your own, you can do it with the accountability partner, say I'm in, comment below and I will know you are in. Now I'm gonna post a link um, to a grid, a tracker that you can actually use to track your nose. 
The goal is 200 reach outs in the month of February. So think 10 a day, maybe on weekdays or whatever, but then a hundred no's along the way to see how many it takes to get to yes. That level of accountability, you guys, and activity. I see so many of you posting, I'm in, challenge accepted. That's what it takes for you to R-Y-N-B, rock your network marketing business. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to share this on your team page. Share it in the inbox with a friend. Find an accountability partner, anybody in your company. It doesn't have to be anybody on your team. And say, would you like to take, take this challenge with me? Because I believe success in the new year boils down to this, your attitude. How do I know you've got a good attitude? You've said, I'm in. I'm willing to take the challenge. You've got the right attitude. You're willing to is greater than you're wanting to. Number two, your activity. This is the amount of activity that it's going to take. And then last but not least, you've got the accountability. Somebody who says, hey, I'm going to check in with you at the end of the week, and we're going to talk about how many no's we have, who's your hottest prospect this week, how can I help you to reach out to them. That is going to be what it takes. So I'm going to post the 100 note tracker. I want you to share this on your team pages or in the inbox with a friend. Ask them to take it with you. Leaders, imagine the amount of momentum that would be created if